Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. No, that is not uh, a new opener. That's not a new opener. That was actually uh, a fan opener. So that bumper that you just saw, that was created by Manel Sa. He's uh, a subscriber, right? He's a viewer. And so he was being creative and he made me a bumper and I thought it was cool. It didn't have any music, so I just used the music that I previously used uh, and uh, just thought I'd show it to you because I thought it was pretty cool. And if you want to do it, if you want to do it, maybe, maybe. If, you, if you're good with the graphics, you want to make a bumper, uh, maybe uh, I'll throw it into one of my videos and give you full credit too. Today we're going to look at another trick from Jamie Dawes. Uh, Jamie reached out to me uh, a couple weeks ago and he sent me a couple tricks from his website, jamiedawes.co.uk. jamiedawes.co.uk. Uh, and uh, asked if I would review a couple of his tricks. Today we're looking at written in the cards. Written in the cards. Play on words for written in the stars, right? And usually we say that about love and about relationships. You know, if you ever visit the magic forums or if you go out there in those uh, talk groups, sometimes the discussion comes up about tricks that you can perform for couples or tricks that you can perform at weddings or tricks maybe for uh, people out on a date at a restaurant. That is, that is often uh, a, a, t a, t a person type <laughs> a person type, a spectator type that you will that you will see, right? Especially even if you were doing a walk around, you might come across two people, right, who are a couple, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, and so having a magic trick that you could do for said couple uh, would be good. Especially one that you could fold up and just stick in your wallet, and they could always have ready to go. And that's what this is. This is written in the cards. All right. So how does the trick go? Well, the trick goes as a standard card trick. But first, you show them that you have this little, uh, you know, personality love test that sometimes these girl magazines uh, publish, right? These kind of rag magazines that you see at the grocery store checkout. And you say, you know, I've, I've had one of these in my wallet. And as you can see, it's done with playing cards. And so there's some little examples of, you know, types of cards you can get and what that means for the, for the couple. And you say, let's just let's just do it right now just for fun, right? And so you have uh, the deck shuffled, uh, the, the one person in the couple selects a card, the other person in the couple selects a card, and I guess the big, the big reveal is going to be that they picked mates, right? One picked the queen of diamonds and the other picked the queen of hearts, or one picked the ace of hearts and the other one picked the ace of diamonds, right? You want, you want there to be some sort of uh, kismet, right? But what happens is uh, neither cards are even close. You know, one's a court in red and one's a spot card and it's black. And you go through the process of the magician is in trouble, right? Oh, this, something went wrong. Which works great for couples because now they're second guessing, like, you know, are we fated to be together? Is it written in the stars? Well, then you pull out the magazine again and you reopen it and then you're able to show both cards they selected and how the fortune for them is perfect and it tells of a long, beautiful, love-filled romance. And best of all, you can let them keep that magazine page as a souvenir. All right, so let's say you purchase Written in the Cards by Jamie Dawes. What will you get? Well, I guess it depends how you purchase it. Uh, right now, uh, out in some of the stores, there's about three different ways you can buy this. You can buy this simply as a download. Okay, you can buy it as a download. So that is $25. So if you buy it for the $25 price tag, uh, you get the hour instruction and you'll get the files and you can print those files to your heart's content, right? Those are the, those are, you get the files. If you buy the $27 uh, package, I think that's called the standard, you'll get 20 pages. So you get 20 pages already printed on high gloss paper, full color. These really do feel like they came out of a really nice magazine, a really nice magazine, almost the same kind of uh, paper that the cover is printed on more so than the pages, right? So it's, it's really, really well done. So that makes it about a little over a dollar a performance if you're giving the magazine uh, page out. You could also buy the deluxe version. That one is $64. And that one comes with 60 pages. So, and again, you've got 60 performances, pages that you could hand out. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought. It's a card reveal, right? It's a card reveal. It's a, it's a souvenir 
that's been printed out for you. All the graphics have been done for you. It looks exactly like it should. This looks like it got ripped out of a magazine. And the fact that you're able to give it away makes it a fun souvenir, especially something memorable uh, if you were giving it to a bride and groom, you know, or, or a couple or someone that was out on a, on a date at a restaurant. It makes a great souvenir. But at the end of the day, yes, it's, it's just a card reveal for a card trick. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, this is shot in a Zoom style. So you got uh, Jamie Dawes on one side, Peter Nardi on the other. Uh, so as if, since, it is a gr since it is a Zoom uh, shot video, it does seem grainy in a lot of places and uh, with, a, with a low volume. It doesn't seem like uh, both people are mic'd. As far as what they're gonna teach you, you will get the ad once again, and you'll get a live performance with a couple in a studio. And then it's gonna shift over to the Zoom uh, conversation between the two of them. And like I said, it's an hour. It is an hour video. So it looks like it was filmed in December. Uh, Peter Nardi has a Christmas tree behind him in the background. They talk about the history and some ideas behind the trick. And they do talk for a while uh, before they actually start getting to the trick. You don't even really see cards until you're about 16 minutes in. And then they first start talking about uh, the force and how to do the trick at about 30 minutes in. So halfway through, that's about when they actually start talking about performing the trick. And they're really just giving you some very simple forces, right? And again, it's a card trick. You can use your own forces. You're, you're basically forcing two cards onto spectator. Um, Peter steps in and he's gonna give you his own take on the trick and they close out the video with some more thoughts. Pocket space, I guess this, this could go any way, right? I mean, if this were really something that you just had folded and put in your wallet, it's an everyday carry that goes anywhere you go. And literally, if somebody says, hey, do a card trick or, or do, do a piece of magic for us, you could say, well, do you have a deck of cards, right? So what better than you borrow the deck and then you give them a souvenir that was in your wallet? It looks completely spontaneous and you're leaving them with a souvenir that they'll treasure forever. So I guess the other way is you just carry a deck of cards, right? You carry a deck of cards and you have this uh, folded up in a pocket or a wallet and you're good to go. Very minimal right? You're not carrying a lot. And then as far as angles go, I mean, that all depends on you and your force. I mean, you're open, like I said, to do any card force you'd like. As far as it being inspectable, borrowed deck, right? You could do it with a borrowed deck. Plus the item is meant to be given out as a souvenir. So there's nothing to find, right? There's nothing to find. There's nothing, nothing hidden there. And certainly with that souvenir, there is more than one way you could play it because there are some other reveals on the other side. So the prop is organic. You could build your own routine around it. Um, you could do this with two couples, right? You could have one couple uh, get one of the marks that's on the front and another couple get one of the reveals on the back. So uh, you, you definitely have some play here. As far as slights and difficulty level, how, that's you know, how hard you wanna make it. You can do a classic force, do a classic force. You know, if you can do a slip cut force, then do that. But you know, if you're still doing the crisscross force, that works too. I think setup and reset goes without saying, right? You just fold the prediction up and put it in your pocket. And then you just have your two cards in a position where you can force them and you're good to go. And I think the positives are, you know, what we've already said too. I think magicians are always looking for tricks they can do at weddings, you know, out or at a restaurant where you have couples that are out on dates. I mean, these are two traditional bread and butter uh, avenues where magicians make a living, right? Weddings and, and restaurants. And so this works perfectly and it becomes a great souvenir. Be you become very memorable uh, in those moments. Negatives, what are the negatives? Um, I definitely felt the video was really long for the nature of the effect. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just doing two card forces and then revealing it on the prop that they give you. Um, in most regards, you could have made the video 15 minutes long, <laughs> right? Uh, or, or less. So I know on the, on the one side, you always criticize when videos don't feel long enough, but I think that, and I, didn't, I don't know that we needed an hour conversation um, about a trick that's really just a card reveal. I think the better way to do the video would have been to flip-flop it. So stick the nuts and bolts at the beginning, 
You know, for those of us that just buy it, want to know how to do the trick and then push all the conversation and the ideas and maybe the history and the inspiration to the end of the video so that we don't have to get through the bulk of it. I mean, like I said, the, the nuts and bolts don't even start until you're 30 minutes in. So that's a long time to sit through a video wondering, okay, when are they going to get to the trick? So maybe just have, maybe just have edited it a little differently. Uh, the other thing is um, the graphic that's on the magazine page. There's a price, there's a dollar amount at the bottom, and it's done in pounds, right? And so I think immediately if I said as a USA magician, hey, I pulled this out of a magazine, not any magazine that is sold in America, right? So I think that looks, that looks a little strange. It's too bad that they don't have an American version for us Yankees. Is it worth your money? Uh, like I said, it's $24 if you just want to buy it as a trick and receive the files so that you can print them yourself. Um, otherwise, if you buy the standard, like I said, it's a dollar a performance. So you would have to weigh the pros and cons about uh, you doing this effect. I think this, if I say you know, who would like this, this is definitely, I think, marketed more towards people who make a living doing magic. You're going to start spending money on every performance, then you're hoping to you know, recoup some of that by future gigs or getting your name out there or doing a good job for the clientele that hired you. So I think if you start talking about, do I want to spend a dollar per interaction, right? I think you're, you're definitely kind of marketing the trick more towards people who make a living professionally doing magic. All right, that's everything I wanted to say about written in the cards. And uh, if I introduced you to a brand new trick or at least entertained you for the last 10 minutes or so, you can do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, push all the buttons. That really helps me out a lot. And I want to thank Jamie Dawes for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. Like I said, you can find it at his website or wherever quality magic tricks are sold. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.